Here we go to the men and women of the Washington County Sheriff's Office, regional law enforcement, first responders, and of course dispatchers. Thank you for sharing this profession with me. From a young age, I knew I wanted to be in law enforcement. I first met Jeff in the 1 in 95 um, Academy. Um, we shared a lot of laughs in that Academy. Um, I think our Academy, you know, again, went down as one of the ones that we got in trouble a little bit, um, did quite a lot of push-ups, but that helped us bond. We had a pretty tight friendship group from the very start in the Academy. And so there was a few of us that were civilians that put ourselves through the Academy and uh, we all ended up coming here to the Sheriff's Office. Throughout his career, you know, the one thing I know is he cared about the people. He wanted to make sure that, you know, as he moved up, we had the tools. And when you talk about leaders, uh, part of that job of a leader, a good leader, is to make sure that you give your people the resources, that you give them that guidance. Uh, and that, you know, Jeff was truly passionate about. I kind of tried to go back to the assignments that I had worked before because I think that once you work an assignment, it's good to go back when you promote because as a supervisor, you can have a little bit more influence. And if there's something that you could make better, you have that opportunity as a supervisor. I've had the most blessed career that anyone could ever have in law enforcement. I've gotten to do almost everything uh, that I ever wanted. Um, besides canine, I would have loved to, to um, train dogs and, and be a canine officer. But other than that, from the jail to patrol to training, I loved every assignment I did. But I think the things that I did that meant the most were those, those things that I uh, established or helped create to help others. Our DSU, our Detention Services Unit, that was built because Jeff had that idea, brought it forward and said, hey, this is something we need to do to make a difference. If you look at something that's gonna last forever, the cases he solved and the homicides, the SWAT call outs, hey, we save people and those are awesome and those are great. But then those people move on with their lives. Here now we're, we're changing lives so that they don't keep coming back and back and back. Uh, and we've become a model. Serving the community is, I never thought about it that way, you know? And when people say thank you, I'm like, People are thanking me for doing what I love. And yes, this job is dangerous, and yes, you deal with ups and downs, but I love this profession. I love law enforcement. I love the Washington County Sheriff's Office. And so uh, it, it's surreal that I'm retiring, but I'm also the type of person that uh, I look for the, the best in everyone and everything. And so I know I have a bright future and I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself wherever I'm at. Jeff, when you told me you were going to retire, I couldn't have been happier for you. 28 years you've put in here and you climbed that ladder all the way up to under sheriff. I am so proud of you and whatever you decide to do in your future, I wish you nothing but the best. Hey dad, I just want to say congratulations and thank you for being my greatest role model and support system over these years, as well as being the best father that I could have asked for. And I'm so excited to see what other great things you accomplish. Hi dad, congratulations on retirement. I just want to say thank you so much for always being such a great role model throughout your career and to not only me, but everyone all my friends, family, everything. You've just been so amazing, and it's been great to watch you. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to see what comes next. I love you. Congratulations, Dad. Uh, it's been a long road. You've spent tons and tons and tons of hours working here and for this agency and uh, going off to trainings and school and conferences all around the United States, and uh, you earned it. You worked really hard and we're all super proud of you and happy for you. Congratulations. Hi, Dad. I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement and I'm so happy for you. And I'm excited for us to get to spend more time together. And I just wanted to say that you inspire me so much in everything I do. And I love you so much. Hi, honey. I just wanted to say happy retirement. 
I'm so very proud of you for everything you've accomplished in your career. I'm so grateful to you for instilling such great work ethic in our children, and I can't wait for this next chapter. I love you, congratulations. Jolene, Haley, Tanner, Tyler, and Olivia, thank you. It's because of their support that I was able to accomplish the things that I've accomplished during my career. And without them being understanding and uh, resilient to the ups and downs of a law enforcement officer, uh, I certainly don't think I would be where I am today. Congratulations, Jeff, on your retirement. Very well deserved. We've been more than friends for over 20 years. Brothers, really. We've had so many great adventures. I'm looking forward to so many more in the future. Love you. Take care. Congratulations. We've enjoyed all our years together from the academy, back in the house, doing the cards, and trying to remember all those definitions for the tests. Until now, I look up to you. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything that your family and ours have done together. I love the memories, the boys, and I look forward to making more memories. Nice job, congratulations on the retirement. Good work, you had a great career. You're an overachiever from the class of 95 again. Congratulations, we'll see you soon. Cheers. Hey buddy, I heard a rumor. I guess if you're getting this video, it's true, you're retiring. Good job, buddy. Congratulations on a career well done. And uh, maybe you'll have time to practice up on Cornell. Maybe one day you'll beat me. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, I couldn't let you retire without telling a funny story. Uh, you know that. So I'm going to tell you the story about when uh, Jeff and I were new deputies. Uh, a year on the job, uh, I convinced him to come down the rodeo grounds to uh, volunteer for the cattle drive. And uh, so us being new deputies, uh, they made a decision that we were able to drive the truck because we're a qualified 40-foot uh, box truck. Neither one of us ever drove a 40-foot box truck. But we said, yep, new deputies, we can do it. So we get this box truck, we start heading out to Red Rock. Uh, we got all the guest luggage in the back loaded. Um, we get over there by Border Town, and uh, we come to the NHP checkpoint that they had at that time, and uh, Jeff and I both look at each other and like, nah, we're not a truck. Nope, we're not a truck, we're good. Uh, so we blew by the checkpoint. Um, and, well, that was a hornet's nest because they all came after us, lights and sirens. So us new deputies started thinking like, hey, uh, what do we just do? We got all this luggage in the back and, and what if there's some illegal stuff back there? So luckily NHP got a big laugh out of the deal, told us yes you are qualified as a truck and uh, let us go. So that was a funny story that uh, Jeff and I did way back when when we were volunteering. So I wish you a happy retirement my friend and uh, now that you're retired come on down here and we'll continue that legacy of uh, volunteering for the rodeo. Thanks buddy. Happy retirement, I'm Sheriff Clark. Jeff, congratulations on your retirement in 28 years. It's quite an achievement. I look forward to hearing about your adventures with you, your wife, and your next chapter in your life. Good luck, my friend. Jeff, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for your years of service to the Sheriff's Office, the Sheriff's Office family, but most importantly to our community. Uh, you have been the most committed, dedicated, passionate, individuals that I've known and you have given your heart and soul to this office and this community and I want you to know you've made a difference and for Jolene thank you for your support I know over the years uh, you have been there Jeff's been called in for SWAT call outs detective cases you name it and you have been there to pick up the slack and supported him as he's moved out uh, or up in his career so I want to say thank you for everything and for the rest of the Clark family thank you I know over the years, Jeff's missed some of the events because of work and the call to come serve. And so thank you for being there. Thank you for supporting him. Thank you for understanding him. And so Jeff, whatever you do, I know you will be just as successful as you were here. And so I wish all of you the best of luck. And again, thank you. <laughs> My message to you, Sheriff's Office is uh, stay diligent, uh, stay professional, and always keep your integrity. That's something that you never get back, and I will miss you 
uh, certainly probably more than you'll miss me, but uh, this office has been everything and uh, this career goes by really fast, so enjoy every second of it. That's it, you can go home. Thank you everyone, Godspeed. See ya. Ha, ha, ha.